chapter 10 disaster management 10.1 disaster is an unforeseen event which can overwhelm the capacity of the affected people to manage its impact the disaster has impact on everybody's life persons with disabilities experience the impact of disasters and climate change disproportionately they are more adversely impacted than the general population because their condition exposes them to various additional risks due to their physical and mental limitations the impact can be reduced by putting in place measures for immediate evacuation and rescue disaster management efforts aim to reduce or avoid the potential losses from hazards assure prompt and appropriate assistance to the victims of a disaster and achieve a rapid and effective recovery 10.2 There has been an increase in the number of natural disasters over the past years and with it increasing losses on account of urbanization and population growth as a result of which the impact of natural disasters is now felt to a larger extent according to the united nations in 2001 alone natural disasters of medium to high range caused at least 25000 deaths around the world more than double the co- previous year and economic losses of around 36 billion dollars these figures would be much higher if the consequences of the many smaller and unrecorded disaster that cause significant losses at the local community level are taken into account 10.3 the new approach to disaster management started with the conviction that development cannot be sustained unless mitigation is built into the development process another cornerstone of the approach is that mitigation must be multidisciplinary spanning across all sectors of development the new policy also emanates from the belief that investments in mitigation are much more cost effective than expenditure on relief and rehabilitation disaster management occupies an important place in india's policy framework as poor people are the worst affected by disasters Ten point four. The steps being taken by the government emanate from the approach outlined above. The approach has been translated into a national disaster framework, a roadmap covering institutional mechanism, disaster prevention strategy, early warning systems, disaster mitigation, preparedness and response, and human resource development. The expected inputs, areas of intervention, and agencies to be involved at the national, state, and district levels have been identified and listed in the roadmap. This roadmap has been shared with all the state governments and union territory administrations ministries and departments of the government of india and the state governments or union territory administrations have been advised to develop their respective roadmaps taking the national ma- roadmap as a broad guideline there is therefore now a common strategy underpinning the action being taken by all the participating organizations or stakeholders Ten point five, as regards PWDs, emphasis has been laid on protecting them from the impact of disaster through effective disaster reduction and management. At the global level, UNCRPD in John Strategy and Sunday Framework have mandated effective strategies both with regard to disaster risk reduction and its management. Article eleven of the UNCRPD deals with situation deals with. situations of risks and humanitarian emergencies in respect of pwds it mandates the state parties to take all necessary measures to ensure protection and safety of pwds in situation of risk situations of armed conflict natural disaster and humanitarian emergencies 10.6 Goal 7 of the Incheon strategy aims to ensure disability inclusive disaster risk reduction and management its targets are to strengthen disability inclusive disaster risk reduction reduction planning and to strengthen implementation measures on providing timely and appropriate support to pwds in responding to disasters 
and responding to disasters. 10.7 The Sendai Framework for Disaster Reduction 2015 to 2030 which was adopted at the third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction held in March 2015 provided an action-oriented framework for disaster risk reduction. Sendai framework recognizes that while the states have the overall responsibility for reducing the disaster risk, it is a shared responsibility between governments and stakeholders. The governments are supposed to encourage PWDs and their organizations who are critical in the assessment of disaster risks so as to design and implement plans tailored to the specific requirements of various class of PWDs taking into consideration Intra alia, the principles of universal design. Ten point eight Goal 11 of Sustainable Development Goals relates to making cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Target 11.5 of the said goal envisages reduction of loss of 1% of GDP. caused by disasters with focus on protecting the poor and people in vulnerable situations as dg targets 1 1.5 9.1 11.2 11.7 and 13.3 also indicates inclusive disaster risk reduction and management ten point nine Dhaka conference on disability and disaster risk management held in december twenty fifteen emphasized on meaningfully engaging PWDs and their organizations for implementation of Sendai framework for disaster reduction
and enhancing collaboration among governments and stakeholders. 10.10 In India, disaster management got legal backing after enactment of National Disaster Management Act 2005 which paved the way for setting up of disaster management authorities at district, state and national levels. The government has also developed a specific standard operating procedure SOP on disaster management for PWDs to ensure their evacuation and resettlement during the time of situation of risks. In September 2019, National Disaster Management Authority formulated guidelines on disability inclusive disaster risk reduction which contain broad strategy to manage crisis situations in coordination with various stakeholders at all levels, governmental and non-governmental. 10.11 Section 8 of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 deals in detail with protection and safety of persons with disability during emergency situations. National, state and district disaster management authorities have been mandated to inform and involve persons with disabilities in the disaster management plan. State commissioners for PWDs have been given an important role coordinate with these authorities. 10.12 DEPWD in March 2020 circulated its comprehensive disability inclusive guidelines to all states and UTs and the central ministries departments to protect the interests to protect the interests of persons with disabilities during covid pandemic while the central and state governments rose up to the occasion a number of lessons were learned in view of uniqueness of this disaster unlike in case of cyclones and earthquake where relief measures are allowed and restricted. In the case of COVID-19 pandemic, while there is demand for help, there is also need for a strict compliance of precautionary measures like social distancing. Ten point thirteen. The policy envisages following points. First, ensuring preparedness during normal times with proper coordination with various stakeholders. Second point. Sensitization of local level authorities in handling persons with disabilities and their specific requirements. Third point, active role of state commissioners 
of PWDs and district level authorities in maintenance of basic data, list of voluntary organizations and disability associations, protocols in management of food, medicine and hospitalization, etc. Fourth point, involvement of persons with disabilities and their associations in planning, implementation and monitoring of disaster risk reduction. Fifth point, declaring a focal point for inclusive DRR for state level regional organizations working for PWDs and other organizations working on disability. A system of collaboration between the focal point will also be established by NDMA. Sixth point, collecting six, eight and disability segregated data by disaster management authorities at district state and national level. Seven point conducting regular audits to ensure that all services related to disaster risk management are accessible and usable by NDMA or SDMA. Eight point training of manpower in the field of disaster risk reduction in the context of implementing disability inclusive DRR by NDMA or SDMA. Nine point priority to PWTs for eva for evacuation in disaster situations and relief under disaster management fund.